Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. I have a question and it's staying in line with some of our recent talks about, about preloaded heavy right and that sitting or sinking into the right leg. And this comes from Densmech, D-E-N-S-E-M-E-C-H. And he says, when I sink down, I hit the ground behind the ball. Why do I hit the ground behind the ball? Am I sinking too low? I think that would be one of the good probabilities of what's going on and and it could be that it could also be that that you're moving off the ball or a combination of both because again when we when we when we sink into this and load into that right side is nothing more than than like the pitcher just a very little very little uh, weight acceptance of the right leg where he receives the weight and has just a little a little uh, more flexation coming in the knee. I think the key, I think the key to the whole this whole thing is is two points. You have to f concentrate on feeling the angle of your right knee, the flex in it, that it might flex a little bit more. The angle might go from here to there. That's it. And and again, too much flex does what? You're actually starting to sit down. You can actually feel the old, the, the, the really ex extreme stretching and tightening of the muscles in from the back of your knee all the way up to the back of your hip here. And, and if you're feeling that, if you're feeling that, and it's starting to tighten up, then you know you're overstretching. And so the key is it's just, just to feel a little bit where you still stay very, very lively, very springy, very, and, and still very active, as I like to call it. So the key is we have to receive the weight and, and just feel that slight flexing in the knee, which means the knee, if you're standing here looking at the knee, as I look down at it, it might, because it's flexing more, it might be moving a little bit, about a half an inch that way, an inch the most. But if, if you're going to a point now where if you look down at your knee and you, your knee is now almost covering your toe to your toe and God, and God forbid if it gets outside your toe, you've stretched way too much. And you can feel everything tightening up in here, especially, especially in, in your hip muscle and, 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 and your upper muscles in your, in your glutes over here. So just, you feel them active. You feel them ready, engaged, but not starting to tighten. Tighten means you're reaching the end and, and getting way too much stretch on them, which means you've moved the knee way too much. So we, a little, it's just a little. It's just a soft little load that sinks down just a little bit. If you videotape yourself, you stand here, I can see my shadow here. I'll, when I swing according to my shadow, all I can see is the slightest little bit of, just, just like a waver at the top of my head at the top, and it stays still. And then when I transition, I see the head go backwards. So use your shadow. He's your best buddy. He only tells the truth, he never lies. And the beauty about using your shadow is the fact that it's, it's instant feedback. I mean, right now I'm videotaping this and if I want to see these swings, I have to go back to the camera, shut it down, bring up the video, look at it and see everything. But that's, time has elapsed. The feeling's gone. But here, I'm seeing and I'm feeling at the exact same time. And, and, and a picture's worth a thousand words and they're worth 10,000 words or a million words when it's, when it's active at the moment, exact moment doing what you're doing. So you can see it and feel it at the exact same moment. So the sight and the feeling resonate together. And, and you got proof positive, is my head moving or is it not moving? And, and, and it's naturally there's a movement, but it is so negligible, it's highly visible that the head's moving up and down. And like I said, you can, you can watch these videos, line me up with, the, with anything in the background over there behind my head. In both for both sideways and up and down and you will see that 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 basically I stay pretty darn still until I do what until I've hit the ball and then I'm then I'm pop tarting up to that to that T finish standing up AFAP okay so just a little bit down and up just feel a stretch just a slight stretch they're active they're engaged they're ready and they are going to spring you like a cat when you when you when you when you sit into it and you you push up push off to swing up to the tee finish that's the key active engaged ready springy and you can see in your shadow that your head stays relatively still you're making that you're making a great load into that backswing for a great transition to swing up to the tee finish and you'll be hitting it more solid and straight more consistent your divots will be consistent in that they'll, they should be just tearing the ball, the, the grass out of the ground and hitting the ball relatively solid and you should be getting rid of those, those thins and chunks and everything else and really getting, really getting consistent. Alright, well that's it for the search for today and I'll be talking to you all again soon.